Even with plenty of power, cops can never go above the law. But these idiots thought they could get away with everything, as they took things way too far. Just like this tyrant who tried to intimidate an auditor but failed horribly. We're gonna call about you. Me? For yeah, what? Yeah, because you're videotaping people leaving the parking lot, so they think it's suspicious. Oh my yeah. gosh. So do you have your license, registration, insurance for this vehicle, sir? Sorry, have I committed a crime? Yep. I've committed a crime? Yep. What crime would that be? You're being suspicious, so we're investigating Is that a that. felony or a misdemeanor? It's neither of those two things. What's your this name and badge US. number? 62260, Constable Smith. Okay, sweetheart. And what would you like today, cupcake? your license registration insurance for the vehicle. The auditor insisted he wasn't breaking any laws, but the officer had other ideas. The auditor knew he hadn't committed any crime and had no reason to give his ID to the officer. However, the cop refused to take no for an answer and continued escalating the situation. Okay, you tell yourself that. You can leave me alone, man. I'm here absolutely doing nothing wrong. Mm, you're been called in as a suspicious person. So, so I have to... Have I committed any crime? I don't know. Well, you don't, well, when you figure that out, you let me know, okay? Okay, license, registration, insurance, please. Absolutely not. So the problem is now you've been called in, so we have to do an investigation. Yeah, you do right? your investigation, sir. I'm not I'm not stopping you from that. You you, you, you can do that. What's your name and badge number? Constable Newfeld, regimental number six. All right, so as your officer just explained, he said, because I'm filming, That's which is my constitutional Canadian Charter of Rights, constitutional, I'm engaged in a constitutional activity. He cannot deem this a crime. If he wants to take it there and escalate it, we absolutely can. But this little cupcake right here is gonna. The officer tried to go hands on with the auditor, and that's when another officer came onto the scene and tried to defuse the situation. However, Officer Smith had some other plans as he did the unthinkable. No, no. See, I rolled down my window to talk to you to let you know that I mean no ill will or no harm. That. That's it. That. But that, but you know what? If he's gonna escalate it, then I'm not gonna be. Steve. But he hasn't. Like, he I, has. I he just like, told me that I've committed a crime. No, I don't, this this little I here just told me I committed that. a crime. I didn't hear that one, but here, can I try to explain it to you? You just touch my... You t do it again. Do it again and see what happens. Get the fucking head out of my car. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. It's on video. It's on video. You put your hand in my car. I can't step out. Okay, well, you're under arrest for obstruction. No, nope. get out of here, man. Don't touch me. Get the thing here. I didn't commit no crime. Under arrest. I don't give... You can't obstruct me. I didn't do nothing. Get the fuck out of here. You got in my, you put your hand in my car without a fucking warrant, you fucking idiot. And just like that, Officer Smith got a hold of his camera and proceeded to arrest him illegally without any reason. The auditor was taken to the police station and was ultimately released without being charged. Officer Smith was not asked any questions and was let go without any accountability. It seems that foreign cops can be pretty intimidating, just like this Mexican cop who did something even worse. Dude, I just got totally police, dude. On August 30th, 2012, an American citizen was driving in Mexico City on a visit there when a police officer pulled him over and confronted him. The officer was speaking Spanish, but his intentions will leave you baffled. No, I have uh, insurance. Insurance? This registration? The officer claimed that he had committed an infraction for not having a registration. As the driver told him he had one, the officer claimed it had expired. However, it was later revealed that the registration was good to go for another eight months. The officer was lying, clearly having some other intentions in mind. <laughs> La sanción con multa son 100 días y remisión del vehículo al depósito. Es una multa de 100 salarios. Son 62 pesos multiplicado por 100, son 6,200 de verificación de que no la trae. Su licencia, por favor. Sir. 
es una multa, infracción ticket de $6,200 pesos por no traer verificación. $100, $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $100. $
and I sixteen hour shift. So, okay. No. It's good. Just where are you at on Imperial I'm trying to I'm trying to get an idea. I mean again, about one two all games since I guess found all it. The chief looked visibly impaired and smelled of alcohol. He was driving with a friend who also appeared intoxicated as both were coming back from a party. Soon, the chief started to play the victim as if the cops had made a mistake by confronting him. I mean, did you get a call on me while I go? Uh, I just no. pulled over to check on a vehicle and I mean, you're... I pulled over and I had to pee so bad because we dropped her friend off at the Circle K in Monroe. And I had to pee so bad. And I pulled over and y'all pulled up and I was peeing on a solid lesson for And he said, Jody, and I'm like, yeah. I mean you can call for Thomas and a little bit more on a record, I really don't care. But I'm According to protocol, the officer asked him to perform the necessary field sobriety tests. However, the chief had a shocking reaction to this. That would make you question the entire system. Well, over at SFST right now, how would you perform? Top somewhere to know. We've all been trained that way. You don't do FFST. We all know that. If you, you say no, plain and simple. Would you provide a press sample? We've all been trained to say no. So we've all been trained. All of us here. All boy though. Like you know that. Like you won the academy before me and Matt won the academy after me. You say no. So we've all been trained. So do you know you put us all in a real bad spot right now, right? I mean, pulling over and again. Like, I'll, it is what it is. Like, I'll do it, but I'm going to say no. And I mean, I'll hire a lawyer, but. I mean, I know, I know, I know. But we've all been trained that way. I'm saying no. I'm not going to provide anything and hire a lawyer. It's going to say you could do it. Chief Jody completely disregarded the laws and the protocols and acted entitled. This shows how these cops think of field sobriety tests. Any other person who refused them like that would have been in handcuffs by now. And the entitled chief was about to suffer the same fate. Jody, here's the deal. I'm a, you're standing on the side of the highway pee. Okay, you're an agent. All right. You, the, the odor of alcohol that's coming off of you, man, is extreme. The car reeks of alcohol. I mean, yeah, we just had three people in that car that had just dropped off. Well, two of them I dropped off in Monroe. I had Circle K with two Monroe beating behind me. It's been around for me, Jeff. Yes, sir. You put me in the bag, please. Yes, sir. Is there any way can I can help? Ma'am. Is there any way I can help? Call her up. All right. Yes, ma'am. You have my phone. Call the phone. Call the phone. Call the phone. Dispatch. 10 15 for 35. Don't have anything. Oh, no. All my stuff is inside the phone. Thankfully, the deputies refused to be intimidated by their senior and proceeded to arrest him. However, the tyrant cop kept on explaining himself trying to get away from this. I literally just dropped off her two friends that had been drinking literally all day. Like you can call Monroe PD, they were at Circle K in Monroe. Right. Arresting people and I was standing there talking to them. All of them were drunk and I was like, look, we're driving home. I had one ginger ale with Jameson. And we got there at uh, nine o'clock. The drag, the drag, not drag, no, the should start it at 11. And we left 25, 30 minutes ago. And I literally did not want to stop the MPS Circle K because we dropped them off there. And I'm, yeah, yeah, I got a pee. And I knew, um, well, I'm not right here, not this one. I don't want this one to the next one. I'll have a terrible, uh, Right, the river service. Yeah, terrible river service. Not, not 
and yeah, I guess that's what it is. I was like, oh, God, I can make it there. And we got around, we got over the bridge. Jody wasn't making any sense, and given his condition, it was obvious that he had had far more to drink than just one drink. He kept rambling to the officer, completely ignoring the fact that he was driving under the influence and could have caused serious harm to others. Until her brother showed up, and she got in the truck with him, her friend got in the truck with her, and we come home. Okay. All right. Well, he's uh, a little bit uh, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to another breath sample if you want to. Yeah. If, uh, if you're good and all you have is in the room, you're gonna be up. Come on, baby. If you're, like, for none yeah. of us, if you're under the limit, we're gonna bring you right back here. Yeah, I mean, that's you. not true. But you know, you legally can Will you legally can't. Have to live it. If you're under arrest with the system of DWI, and you commit a breath sample below, well, you legally can't drop someone off to the vehicle that's had at least one ounce of beverage. You can't do that. If they was going to bring you back to your vehicle to drive, but you can't drop them off that vehicle. She's calling a ride, right? But she's had more to drink than I can. But she's calling a ride, is what I'm saying. If someone comes to pick her up and you submit a breast sample that's below the legal limit, and you're not over the legal limit, we're not going to arrest you for DWI. We'll bring you back here to ride with whoever you contact. Yeah. The chief's condition was devastating, and the deputies were only talking to him nicely because of his position. However, finally, they decided to put a stop to his nonsense and proceeded to escort him to the police cruiser to take him to the station. Yeah. She's trying to make a phone call now, yeah. Yeah, Let's go What is I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to drive, that's what I'm saying. If, if you submit a breath sample, I'm not going yeah, to Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. No, 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 no. I'm going to you're under the if, legal limit of yeah. alcohol. But we, I'm not. I'm not going to book you under a DWI if you submit a breast sample less than 28. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. I know. I would. I would not put you up. I still would be gray area. Like I said, I mean, it's it's up to you. 100. Huh. I, I understand. That's uh, a really gray area. Let, let's walk back here real quick to his unit before any cars come. I don't want to get run over. Me and Matt almost got hit just a second ago. Mm -hmm. Good. To the Tahoe or the truck? Uh, no, the oh, car the in the back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Red is killing. Got some really bright lights on this unit. Jesus Christ. It's a little one. Yeah. Ugh. I can't even tell. Mm -hmm. Jody was taken to the police station where his handcuffs were removed, and another officer started to talk to him about giving a breath sample. However, once again, Jody appeared entitled, claiming that officers are always advised to refuse these tests. You have, if you have refused to submit to the chemical test on two previous and separate occasions, the refusal to this test is a crime under the provision of RS 1498.7, and the penalties are the the penalties for this provision, for this, let me back up, and the penalties are the same as the penalties for the first conviction of driving while intoxicated. For purpose of this provision, a chemical test shall not include a blood test. Evidence of your refusal to submit to the chemical test will be used against you. But we basically get done once we offer you the uh, breathalyzer. I have a few more questions for the follow-up interview. Yes. All right, Mr. Johnny, what uh, the deputy on the scene was trying to explain to you, okay, and I, I know you're familiar with, you know, I was like, yes. Okay, if you feel like you're not intoxicated, yes. Then if you blow and if you're under a point oh eight, yeah, you're not going, you're not going to get charged. You, well, we, you know, we both have been through police academy, correct? Yeah. 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 They'll tell you first off if you ever go through police academy and you go through field sobriety test, they say, do not do no. field sobriety test and do not do intoxicants. Yeah. They say that. Well, see, I've never went through the field sobriety test. Yes, I'm not qualified for that, so I can't not do that. But I am qualified to. You just, yeah, what I'm saying is, I can run the machine, but I can't do the I can't do the roadside. It's just something that yeah, that's all. Right. Yeah, I mean, it is. But well, know, yeah, yeah, when you, know. you go through police camp and yeah. tell you, yeah, even if you're post yeah, gotcha. even if you're, so, yeah, do not. But I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Yes, but I still yes, got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to. I understand completely. But I, yeah. It's truly shocking to see how police officers have no trust in the system they have created. It's almost unfair to think how people often are convicted for DUIs when they are under the limit. Soon after, the officer received a call from the police captain, adding more pressure to promptly release the corrupt chief. But yes. I want to make sure what yes. I'm saying. No, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Let's talk to you. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Okay, that's correct. No, sir. Uh, he's he's going to say he's going to do a refusal, so it'll be uh, eight hours before he can buy. Gotcha. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Do you uh, you need to holler back at? Uh, okay. Well, it may be this guy here. You know, like I said, no prop at all. He's very cooperative, and you know, you ain't gonna have no trouble at all out of him. Yes, yeah, sir. He, I'm sure he'll be bonding out after his eight hours. Yes, sir. Uh, about about two thirty is what time he came in. So just 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 back it up to about two, because that's probably about what time that actual occurred. So two, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten o'clock. Yes, sir. No. Hey, uh, you you will be bunning out, correct? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, correct. Yes, sir. The officer asked the chief some questions regarding his night out before conducting a breath test. All right. Got a few questions. Yes, sir. Do you have physical, any physical defects? No, sir. Are you hurt? No, sir. Are you ill? No, sir. Have you taken any medication or drugs in the past 24 hours? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, your last, when did you last take any medication? About 11 a.m. Okay, so that would have been on the 11th? Yes. At 11. What did you take? Do you, know, you know how to spell that? Yes, sir. Which one do you want? Uh, yeah, first, it don't matter well, what. And what was the other one? And the amount did you take? Uh, in 25 milligrams a week. Okay, and it said medication reason. What's that? That's for. Uh, have you been to a doctor or a dentist recently? No. I said this is your this is your copy. Well, I mean, do you want to get that? Yeah, we could do. It. And look, when I get back to the uh, when I get back to the office, yes, we have some more paperwork we have to do. Okay. And because this printer doesn't work. Yeah. I and then, and then when I print out your driver license forms and other stuff, I'll run it back down here. This officer seemed like a total misfit for the badge, but the actions of this next tyrant will leave you stunned. Sixty-three, show me out on that auto pit. I said I was. You all right? Yeah, a little hit to get together. He's being stubborn by getting checked out, but he said he's all right. I'm all right. So we're just. You all right? I told him I won't take no, it down. No, I ain't all right. I need about a, about a million dollars, and then I'll be all right. Well, you ain't getting that, so. Yeah. Well, no shit. I'm trying to get him. I, I, he's always you up go, on my You go street, ahead and so. get that. I want to get you down. I got that. You know, I can put that mother on. Okay. Even though it's a complicated son of a Yeah. All right. Well, so what do you want to do? The cop noticed that the victim was not visibly injured and then began making inquiries. The truck owner stated that he had accidentally collided with the elderly man and insisted that they go for a medical checkup, but the man did not want to comply. 63, he's not injured, no ambulance needed. Uh, can, you, uh, can you run Michael Scurlock? No, I think I'm on the that cover over. Even though everything seemed fine, the officer informed the command center of the situation, but requested that they run his name through the database. No, sir. 63, did you get my last transmission? Stop by, stop by the house. I I'm glad that you are somebody I know. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go anywhere yet. What do you mean, don't go anywhere yet? Exactly what the fuck I mean, I said, don't go anywhere yet. Hey, what the fuck does it have I done? All right, am I through? No. What have I got to do? You got to wait here. What for? Tell me. Till we finish our investigation. Investigation? There ain't matter of no fact, have a seat. Have a seat on the curb. Matter of fact, I was out there laying. Have a seat on the curb. You're not listening to me. Have a seat That's on the curb. That's what you're supposed to do. Have a seat I, on the curb. I hit, she hit me. I mean, he hit me, and I wasn't it. I thought he saw me. The victim was about to leave when the officer told him that he could not. Hey, have a seat on the curb. I'm gonna look for my stuff, young man. The elderly man, completely frustrated by the authoritative and imposing cop, was about to sit as instructed when he suddenly realized he had dropped something. Anxiously, he began searching for it. All right, turn around. For Come on, man, wait a minute. Hey, relax. What are you doing? Hey. 
Hey. You're gonna have a seat. Sit down. I'll try to have a seat if you let go of me. You not you don't hold me. For some unknown reason, this provoked the irate officer, and within seconds he violently shoved Michael against a police cruiser before ruthlessly throwing him to the curb where he slammed his head and was knocked out instantly. Put your hands behind your back. Six to three, go ahead, rolling, uh, rolling ambulance. <clears throat> Not minding that the elderly man was visibly injured, Officer Kingsley proceeded to aggressively arrest the biker before calling for an ambulance. What, uh, we need him now. Six to three, go ahead, rolling. Is he out? Huh? Is he out? Footage from the supervising officer's body cam clearly showed that Officer Kingsley had knocked Michael out. The assailant also confirmed that the victim was not visibly drunk and that his only offense was refusing to sit. Can you make bond, sir? I think that is a no. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? What are we doing? The officers then proceeded to unlawfully lock Michael up in the Dickinson City Jail for allegedly resisting arrest and being drunk in public, even though they had no substantial evidence against him. Oh, how am I here? You got arrested for public intoxication yesterday. I got beat on this today. Having signed that, fill that out if it has any information, we'll go from there. Man, I ain't got no. No, you're getting out. You're getting out. Sign right here for me. Oh. Give me your name one of the best you can. Man, I can't. I can't see. What? I can't see. How do I see? The station security camera footage showed the innocent man showing signs of confusion and dizziness. Okay. Just sit, sit right there on the bench for me. I think this one got, um, I think this is. God, my. That got. Ah! Yeah. Okay, hey, you're gonna have to be quiet. I see that. You're gonna have to be quiet, right? Man. Destiny. Come on. I can't come on. The judge is out here. Unable to hold himself up any longer, he collapsed and even vomited before he was finally released. After he was released, Michael Skurlock went to his sister's house to recover, but his stay there was short as his sister found him unconscious the next day in her backyard. Upon arriving at the hospital, the frail man was diagnosed with a severe brain bleed and had to be placed on compulsory bed rest under intensive care for two weeks. The once giddy Michael was never the same after the unfortunate incident, as he spent the last nine months of his life moving from hospitals to nursing homes before passing away in December 2022. The outraged locals could not stomach this injustice. As of February 2024, Officer Kingsley had been placed on administrative leave without pay, marking what will likely be the final time he ever wears a police badge. These cops were crafty and tried sweeping the case under the rug. However, the next case will leave you completely shocked. Yes, sir. Okay, Michael. So, um, just to let you know, bro, 
right now, you're going to be detained. On January 24th, 2024, officers promptly responded to an urgent 911 call about a man threatening people with a deadly weapon at a gas station near Osuna Road and Jefferson Street in Northeast Albuquerque. Hey, sir. So over here, uh, sir, that's the key. Uh, we're leaving the sugar key and uh, we're just out there opening your candy and then leave. And this guy, uh, you know, he's on a PA system and turns some lights on and says, get out of here. Get, get, uh, get, get out of here. Take your business out, sir. On arriving at the scene, the cops questioned the startled man who had placed the distressing call. They had just exited the store when a man in the truck flashed his duty lights at them and used a PA system to sternly order them to leave. So, so then uh, I, I said, excuse me. I started walking like this and he pulls his gun out on me. He says, get the fuck back, get the fuck back. I said, I said, why? He goes, this is the sheriff's office. I said, whatever, dude. So he started walking and he kept playing a gun like this to us. I said, well, I'm going to take your soul. I'm going to take your soul from you right now. Keep tying in this guy. Wondering what was happening, they hesitated, and then the aggressive assailant brought out a gun and threatened to abruptly end both men's lives. Hello, sir. My name is Officer Weather Dave Dave. Are you security here? No, I'm just chilling. You're just chilling? So the reason why I'm talking to you is uh, we got a call for service about a silver Dodge, a gentleman pointing a gun at somebody else saying he's going to take a soul and doing all that. Do you mind just stepping out for me real quick so I can complete my investigation? Because this is the truck that they named. And then you're sitting inside of it. I, I understand that. You saw me walk around the corner. I'm just trying to do my investigation, okay? Okay. Just go ahead and step on out for me. Do you have a gun or anything? No? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, just one. Um, did you just have an ID with you? Yeah. Okay. As other officers listened to the distressed victims, an officer went ahead to confront an individual who had the same vehicle as the suspect and told him to identify himself. I really just got in So you, you don't have a gun or anything? I saw the vest in there. Yeah, I got a vest. But no gun? Yeah. You're not pointing it at anybody or anything like that? No, I'm being called for the door to keep me safe. We are going to have to start this. Ten four. Do they have a description of the male subject, or just the vehicle? On turning over his ID, the suspect brazenly lied that he had no weapon in his vehicle and falsely claimed that he had just arrived at the gas station. While the officer tried to confirm if he had approached the correct individual, You're not working security or anything. No. Okay. What do you do for work? I uh, work for the county. You work for the county? Yeah. What do you do for the county? I'm with the SO. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you're off duty? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Brett, where are you at? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm on the west end of the Circle K. You didn't have any altercations with anybody, no arguments or anything? Yeah. You see? Awkward. Yeah, I know. It is. It's no, super I, awkward. Yeah. Just fucking awkward, man. Uh, <laughs> I know. Um, you're not UC or anything like that? You don't got a PA in here or anything like that? Is this your POV? This isn't your POV? Or this is? No, this is my county car. This uh, is your county car? Yeah. Okay. The man finally reveals that he works for the county as a BCSO officer and that he did not have any prior altercations. He also told the officer that he did not have a PA system in the vehicle. Awkward. Yeah, like we're just <laughs> waiting for the description of the guy or whatever they're doing over there, so. What's that? We're just waiting for whatever, whatever the other officer's doing over there with our oh, yeah. caller, so. Um, I don't know if he's doing a field ID or whatever, so. Sure. Yeah, this is really I know, <laughs> but I don't. I like for me. Per, I, I don't put people in cuffs. Like if I don't have to. Yeah, no, I get it, bro. So like, like it's awkward as fuck. That's why I'm like, I'm not like. <laughs> like what's going on? I mean, we can have you sit down. Yeah. You'd be a little bit more comfy, but. Nah, man. I get The BCSO deputy kept on stating that the situation was awkward. What's up, Garcia with APD? Yep. This is Michael. Michael? Yes, sir. Okay, Michael. So, um, just to let you know, bro, right now, you're going to be detained. Until further notice, just 
pending investigation, okay? Okay. Um, so we do have to place you in handcuffs for now, okay? Alright. Cool. Um, just until we can start some more investigation yep. of what's going on, okay? Not too custom. Yeah. You know, Like I said, I told you what we got called here for, and I hate doing double custom times. There we go. There we go. Finally, another cop arrived, and they detained BCSO Deputy Michael Barreco pending further investigation. Let me uh, sit you down over here in my car. Okay. <coughs> I haven't patted him down or nothing. Slip sec. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you got the fob. Fuck you. Just have a seat for me, right? Yeah, man. All right, just stand by for me, okay, man? Thanks for your picture. Yeah. What were we waiting for? The suspect did not resist and remained calm, almost as if he were innocent. He had just gotten 5'6. He was just hanging out. There's a like a vest, like a duty vest in there. He's been with BSSO for 15 years. Yeah, and he said he keeps saying that's his county vehicle, but I don't know if that means like work or like POV for us. But it's so I don't know. But there's a vest inside the vehicle. Yeah. Let me see if they saw anybody. Yeah. Because right now, for what they're saying, so could possibly impersonating an officer if he's not actually actually an SO. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. Um, is Sarge here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Like, there's a vest in this thing. I was asking him, I was like, oh, you got all this stuff in there? And he kept saying no, but I didn't go in the vehicle to see the vest or anything like that. So, right. The officers discussed among themselves trying to assess the situation. So they decided to search the suspect's vehicle without opening the door. Yeah, it's a vest. It says sheriff right there. It's got a taser, rifle mags. There's his pistol. He told me he didn't have a gun. Here's his radio. Um, I don't see. Damn, he might be a 34. He might be a legit 34. But uh, I don't see a PA system. Okay. Let me. Uh, how did you get? Door is eight forty six. Go ahead. I call. Uh, the record is going to be negative. Twelve is valid. Temple, thank you. As the officers searched the vehicle, they soon realized that the assailant had lied earlier about not possessing a weapon. Hey, how yeah. are you, sir? Uh, do you want to? Do you want to? Okay. Okay. He's saying an actual SO deputy where he stole a bunch of shit. We don't know for sure. So, do you want to get an SO sergeant here to figure out who? Because I can ask him on the radio. Because I think right. we should. Let me talk about the impact first. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. Then, so yeah, we'll just wait for a second. Can you know, actually, can you just grab the bin? See if it. Oh, it's it matches. Yeah, that plate doesn't belong. No, no. Oh, oh, it might be yeah for their UC stuff. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Is it? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Back on the wrist again. Oh, okay. Can you tell? Was it on there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it doesn't really come out. There we go. Let's try to turn. Let's try to yeah. Let's try to turn your wrist a little bit more. Let's see, can you go? I know. I'm just trying to find a, the best way to make yeah, no, it I, comfortable. There you go. There you go. That'll work. That'll work, right? More cops arrived at the scene, and together they went to review the gas station security footage to gain much needed clarity on what had transpired earlier. He's out of oh, sir. He doesn't want to press charges in many ways inside. Um, uh, so, so questions. Do you guys, I assume since the crime is involved with the firearm, you guys are taking that for evidence or? So right now, 
So my search is talking to one of the callers or victims. Um, okay. To the best of my knowledge, the vehicle got sealed and towed to our crime lab. So everything right now is still inside the vehicle. Did he have the firearm on him? No. When we took, when he stepped out of the vehicle, he didn't have it on him okay. when he stepped out. And what about the badge? Anything like that? Um, I didn't cut him down. That officer did there. He didn't, I didn't see him pull anything out of his pockets. He didn't look like he had his badge on or anything like that. Um, but I can tell you in the passenger seat, I saw a vest that said sheriff, had his taser, like rifle bags, saw the radio in the cup holder, and then whatever hand, pistol hand was on the seat as well. Okay. Not in a holster or anything like that. The BCSO was contacted and they sent a team to assess the situation and the arresting officer briefed them on what had happened. What was them, sir? The alleged victims were just going to get them out of here. Cool. So when you release him, they don't lose their money. You want me to talk with them first? Or um, then get them? Yeah, we can chat with them. Okay. One of the senior cops gave an order to the arresting officer to swiftly remove the alleged victims from the scene. This maneuver was intended to prevent any potential protests from the victims when the BCSO officer gets released. Hey, how are you, sir? How are you? Good, good. So we're done with our investigation, <laughs> our side of things. Um, you know, we did seal the, the, the truck that he had. He had like the body arm firearm and stuff like that. So we have our detectives, it's like our impact team. They're gonna do some follow-up because that's what this needs, obviously. Right. So tonight, he's not going to jail. He's not being arrested. Um, just based off of what we saw, putting everything together for tonight, he won't be going to jail. Okay. So we have our impact sergeant. If you'd like to, I don't know if you do need to speak with him, but pretty much that's what's gonna to happen tonight. We'll release him, the deputy, here in a second. Okay. And then if he needs, Maybe go with you guys, or we can call somebody. But we just want to get him home. If you guys don't safe. need him, I can definitely tra transport him home. Yeah, um, and take care of it that way. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. The officer approached the BCSO team and informed them that their colleague would not be spending the night in jail until they were done with their investigations. However, they were going to thoroughly search his vehicle as part of the investigation. Anything else? Anything you got? Every, you got the victim's statements, the his statement, and then um, no other witnesses. We're gonna you're gonna get that video. Yeah, we, we, we send an evidence leak. We do have a CD, DVD that we're tagging, and then he's gonna come back here at like four in the morning, so I can come back to, to upload it. Confirm that everything did get uploaded. So he gave you a he gave you a DVD. Yes, correct. Uh, let me have that. You have that DVD. All right, sir, so we just talked with your chain stuff. Investigation-wise, things are gonna be on pause. Um, again, we took your truck, sealed it, just for evidentiary value. We're gonna look over everything at a later time just to make sure we're doing what's right. So everything is justified, there's no questions. For tonight, though, um, you're being released. Um, nothing's gonna take place further. We gave your chain the report number and stuff. Um, they'll be, they are willing to give you a ride home. So we're gonna get you out of these cuffs, sir. Thanks for being compliant. Um, so let's do that. Let's get you out of here, sir. Just... How, am I, uh, how am I able to get my phone, man? Uh, tomorrow morning, the one sergeant, I don't know if you saw the other one that was with me, he's in contact with the chain. Once things are being like released and stuff, we can get- I can't like, get in contact with anybody like, without my phone, man. Like, not even like, work still. Well, we, you know too, like just our side, if we take something out of that truck, we're violating you know, your rights and stuff. So we had to do the right thing too. I'm sorry. So, so, I guess, so, so I guess, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. So yeah. How do, I do, like, how do I get my phone? Or how do you we're going to get probably everything to you tomorrow. So our detectives, they come out, start unsealing the vehicle, doing their uh, search warrant stuff, okay. and get your property back. Yeah. Okay. We'll get you out of here, sir. Oh, at least you're right one first one. Do you have everything on you, sir, that you need? Yeah. All right, and then I think one of them will 
help you out, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Appreciate it. The warrant sergeant gathered all the evidence from the scene, and then the arresting officer released the suspect. If you need contact with me, just, um, again, my name is Jared Romero, and so, um, Sergeant Rahimi's gonna be doing, like, the initial, um, uh, report for it, and then I'm gonna be doing the follow-up for everything else that comes after it. Um, so, if you have any questions, uh, I gave you my phone, my contact information, so that way you guys can get in touch with me. Okay. All right. All right, I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Surprisingly, this wasn't the last time an officer broke the law, as this cop lost his cool and eventually his job. How's it going? Licensed insurance. That's why I got pulled over? Yeah, I'll be glad to tell you in just one second. Take your time, go ahead. Is everybody all right? There were four young guys in the Jeep, and everyone looked hence. Soon after getting the driver's license, Officer Sanders addressed the primary concern. What's going on? Who yelled out the window? Uh, yeah, come on back here with me, Mr. Bird. Yes, sir. Mr. Bird, yes, sir. I'm going to ask you one time. How long you had your license? Over six months. Over six months. So everybody, you're good to haul everybody around in there, okay? Yes, yes sir. I'm going to ask you one time. Yes, sir. All right? If you don't, we're going to go another route with it. The driver of the car took no time in naming his friend to the officer, who was about to go on a power trip. However, the cop had no legitimate reason to detain him, as the person simply exercised his constitutional right to free speech. Got the Jeep. What'd you have to say? Nothing. No, tell me one more time you're going to jail, son. What's your name? Brandon Hughes. Brandon Hughes. Yes, I know who you are. Yes, sir. Is there something you need to say to us that you want to yell out the window? No, sir. Who are you yelling at? Hey, look at me when you talk to me, son. Who are you going to yell at? William Robert Lane. What'd you say? Orangeville, F the police. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Get your hands out of your pocket. Why you want to say that to the police? No, I ain't protecting you. Officer Sanders seemed to be consumed by rage. However, the worst was yet to come as he couldn't handle one remark from a 17-year-old boy. F the police. Why, you can get back. Why do you want to F the police, son? Why you say it then? You think it's going to make you a bad in front of everybody? No, sir, I don't because I'm getting fussed out right now. Well, here I am, right I here, brother. I don't want to. Why not? You're a tough guy. Come on. I'm not tough. Huh? I'm not tough. You seem like a little baby the day you was in court, remember? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity. No, sir. Then why you want to yell about it when you're in front of your buddies right there? Is it cool? No, sir. You, you trying to be a bad no, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. I'm giving you every opportunity. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Now let me ask you this, what have I ever done to you? Nothing at all. Not a damn thing. Yes, what has my partner ever done to you? Not a thing. Not a damn thing, right? Yes, sir. However, Officer Sanders wasn't done with just insulting the poor boy. Instead, he demanded to search the Jeep illegally. So why do you want to f police? I don't, I was being dumb. Now it's a little bit more than being stupid is what I think. So do you, let me ask you something, next time you get caught so having we do you think somebody's going to try to cut you a break? If I go to goddamn jerking everybody out of that damn Jeep and I find one ounce of damn weed, do you think I'm going to take everybody to jail? Yes, sir. No, sir. Just me. No, hell, I'm going to take every one of your damn friends to jail. Yes, sir. 
How old are you? Six, seventeen. I didn't know y'all could be so goddamn stupid anymore. Everybody get out of the Jeep. Yes, sir. You want to see how big of a damn po police is going to be? I'm fixing to show you. I'm fixing to search every damn one of you and every damn ounce of this Jeep. Now, so help me God, if I find one damn seed, every damn one of you is going to go to jail because of police, son. The ignorant officer briefly searched the car, but couldn't find anything illegal inside. Despite this, Sanders kept on bullying the young men and even called in another officer to join him. 17, can you 25 with me up at Checkers? Up here at Checkers. It's funny, ain't it? No, sir. Did y'all laugh? No, sir. Huh? Did you laugh? No, Did you laugh? You think it's funny? Yeah, radio, show me 1038. Charlie Echo Yankee 6704, CEY 6704. Be North Cherokee at Checkers. This smart ass right here says fuck the police. Oh, yeah? Yeah. However, soon the officer realized there wasn't any point in holding the other three kids up as they didn't commit any crime. Well, here's the point. The guy making the remark hadn't done anything illegal too. It's just that Sanders allowed his ego to come in between his duties. Bird, you can get back in the damn Jeep, son. You ain't done nothing wrong. Y'all two pile back in there. Y'all ain't done nothing wrong. Ain't no sense in y'all paying for this stupid ass. That's that knucklehead off of Elm Street right there. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember y'all from. He don't believe it, but I swear to God I can beat him in basketball. You can't shoot. You still got to play me. I've been asking you since I was on Elm Dude, let me tell you something. I got two damn torn up ligaments. I will smoke both of y'all. Y'all can play two on one. Let me tell you something. You'd be so damn fight. You'd be on your little skinny. You ever seen Charles Barkley play? Despite making his point clear and seeing the teenager's clear remorse, Sanders kept on prolonging the issue and kept punishing him further. Dude, you know who this is? What's your stepdaddy's name? Brian, Brian Massey's stepson. What? Yeah. What have we done to you? Hey, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Technically, I can't see, I can't search your damn Jeep and I can't touch y'all and I don't want to. I'm not an ass like that. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you hang around this, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna mess with you. Okay, I suggest y'all going somewhere. Y'all jet. Where y'all going to eat? Make it walk. Yeah, we have to put up with a lot of shit as it is. Yes, sir. I mean, there's cops getting stopped, uh, getting killed on traffic stops. And Stuff like that, and then you ride by and you hollow that. Disrespectful. Yes, sir, it is. And we're out here to save your butt. Yes, sir. The detention never seemed to end for the poor boy, even though the other officer claimed he had not broken any laws. Because you did it, or you upset because you got caught? Honestly, both is disrespectful, and I was raised better. <laughs> Just being dumb. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know that, I don't know that you, I, I don't know. I mean, what you did is not breaking the law. You didn't break the law. It's freedom of speech. Yes, sir. But still, I mean, just to blatantly out, just hollering out while we're trying to, while we're trying to do our job. Yes, sir. What if that was a DUI person? I just stopped on the side of the road and got them off the street, keep them hitting somebody in your family and killing them. Yes, sir. You got to, you got to look at it. You know what I'm saying? It all goes around. Yes, sir. Finally, the officers realized that they had had enough and decided to call it a day. However, before departing, Sanders gave him one last warning. I mean, why do you really feel like that? Because you really feel like that. Huh? I mean, what, I would be okay if you just trying to be a badass in front of your boys. Because you obviously have some pent-up frustrations. And I'm going to tell you right now, neither one of us done anything to you. So tell, so tell them, uh, be honest, be honest about it. Why in the world do you really feel that way? Because deep down, you, you have to feel it. Because that, 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 you know what? I've been, I've been, I've done some crazy stuff in my life. Not once have I ever said that. Have you ever had a bad run-in with the police or anything? Yeah, bud. Yeah, man, go ahead. 
I guess all the pictures everybody thinks about y'all. And you buy into that yeah, crap? Paint your own picture, dude. I mean, we ain't never done anything to you. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying there's, I mean, not all cops are good. You, got, you, got, you do got some bad cops out there, but I don't consider myself one of them. Yes, sir. I mean, if you, if you was in a car accident, whatever, I'd do my best to try to save your life. Yes, sir. And that includes putting ourselves in danger doing it. Get out of here, I'm tired of dealing with you. The officers went away, and so did the teenager. However, this event soon sparked controversy, and the Social Circle Police Department launched an investigation into this matter. Soon after, they found Officer Sanders guilty, and he was eventually fired from the police department. Well, this cop certainly got aggressive, but the actions of this next cop show an even darker side of law enforcement. Sir, have a seat. Have a seat. Hey, don't touch Have me. a seat. Are you serious? On the 7th of May 2020, a veteran police officer was accompanied by his rookie partner when they pulled over a car for a minor traffic offense. As the suspect exited the vehicle, the senior officer immediately became aggressive. However, the rookie seemed much more calm and composed, leading to a dispute among the officers. What's, why are you getting out of the car? Why are you getting out of the car so nervous? Put your hands on top of your head. Do it now. Hands on top of your head. 15 him now. 15 him. 15. Pat him down for weapons. Anybody else in the vehicle? Put him in the back of the patrol car and get his name and ID. Are you listening to dispatch? Are you listening to dispatch? The senior officer wasn't only being rude to the suspect, but he also seemed to be angry with the rookie cop. And this was only about to escalate further. Every time dispatch calls you and gives you information, you have to acknowledge that they gave you a message. Whoa, okay? Are you serious? Sir, just keep quiet for me, okay? No, why? Just give me cool. Just keep quiet for a second. Are you, you almost. Yeah. Are you so drunk? What? Why? No. Why okay. Did you even pull me over? Because you almost ran right to the middle of the intersection. Are you serious? I wasn't even at the intersection. Sir, how much money is this? Sir. I didn't even. Listen. I, didn't, I wasn't even at the intersection. You weren't at the intersection. See this camera? See this camera? It's been recording the whole time. The officer didn't even let the suspect talk or understand what was he being detained for. However, what happened in the next few seconds was downright absurd and has a lot to play ahead in the video. Why you, what, what's, what's your problem? What's your problem? All right. Sir, have a seat. Why do you have a seat. Hey, don't touch Have me. a seat. Are you serious? Are you serious? Don't, don't try to charge into me. Oh do not God. try to charge into me. Do you Bro, understand me? Are you serious? Do not charge into me. Do you understand? Have a seat in the vehicle. Are you serious? Have a seat in are the vehicle. Serious? Sit you... in the vehicle properly or are I'm going to tase you. Are you kidding me? I'm going to tase you if you do not sit in the vehicle Bro, properly. Bro, are you serious? Sit in the vehicle properly. You you had to rush me like that? Put it in here. Do not charge you're, into you're me. You're teaching this kid how to... Man. Once again, the officer displayed anger against both the victim and the rookie officer. However, it was evident that the officer's claims were false, as the suspect never barged into him, and there was no need to use this much force. He then proceeded to perform an illegal search of the suspect's vehicle. <laughs> Do me a favor, come here. Rookie stalled out. Total freaking soft safety thing happened. This guy almost rushed me in handcuffs. He didn't put him in handcuffs, and I told him to put him in handcuffs. Okay. The guy is drunk and belligerent. He just totally. So just stay 10 12 him. Okay. Make sure he gets ID on him and okay. calm that guy down. The 
officer had no idea of what he was saying, and it was obvious that he had a personal vendetta against the poor rookie officer, who was just being a bit more calm and just towards the suspect. He then proceeds to make an abysmal complaint against his junior. I'm out with a, a signal one, most likely, or signal two, or guy on 57. Okay. Can you hear me or no? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have THI here today. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have them respond in a minute. Hold on, son. 12, 20, so I think I have THI respond. Um, the thing goes this. The rookie has been, is stalling out and he gets too nervous. And, uh, hold on. Turn that down. The, the rookie does what? The rookie, like he stalls out, he gets scared, he gets nervous, and he doesn't move. Like, it's like an officer safety issue big time. He did it too many times already. So I'm trying to ease him into it. Um, he's still not getting it. Uh, this today, when we went to this 57 call, he wanted to get there quick. So he went there. I told him there's a suspect vehicle, totally stalled, wouldn't turn around. He passed by the address twice. He gets way too nervous. So I kind of told him this has got to stop, so on and so forth. Then the, he's not being attentive. There's a vehicle that goes, when we were in the, the intersection of Forest Hill and, Mil, um, Forest Hill and um, Dixie. It's not difficult to figure out the lies that the officer told to his dispatch as he completely misinterprets what occurred. However, the worst was still about to come. A car goes almost halfway into the intersection. He doesn't even notice it. I tell him, okay, look in, roll down your window and look into the, the vehicle as you pass by it to see what's his, if he's okay or if he's, what's up with him. He doesn't comply. He, the, the rookie's not rolling down the window. He's not understanding what I'm saying. He gets nervous. I said, turn around and do a 1050 on the vehicle. He puts his hands all into the computer. He's not paying attention to anything. Then he follows the vehicle. I was like, the guy's running from you. He makes a quick U-turn, goes to the gas station. I told him, conduct a 1050. He doesn't turn on his blue lights. He doesn't know how to turn, get onto the radio properly. I had to get out the car because the guy's getting out the car to run out. And I, I grabbed the guy, told him to put his hand on top of his head because he's trying to run or trying to leave. And I told the rookie, 10:15. The rookie does not 10:15. I said, put handcuffs on him. The rookie does not put handcuffs on him. It's appalling to see that a rookie police officer is getting a complaint against just for not being as aggressive and brutal as this corrupt police officer. In situations like this, it's truly hard to uphold the principles of being a good cop. Is this traffic stop that you're on right now? Huh? Yes. And then finally he put handcuffs on him and then push him in the back, put him to the back. And I said, run his ID, so on and so forth. The guy is drunk, high, and belligerent. While I'm standing there, the rookie's not holding him properly and allows him to almost bum rush me. Wow. Okay. Well, this definitely has to be severely documented. And, uh... Well, it takes a lot to piss me off, and I'm trying to ease him into it. But, you know, even yesterday, I kind of told uh, Emily, she says, oh, you're hitting all the traffic spots. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to ease him into, in a controlled environment because I notice he shakes and gets that nervous. Yeah, we definitely uh, gotta document that, but uh, um, you had your camera on, I hope, right? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna have to mark those too. Okay. It wasn't a bad so, bum rush, but the thing is, the guy kept on. Damn the, it. Huh? So, I said I was hoping to have no problem, child. Shit. Shit. Okay. I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to smooth it over, but then the thing is, uh, when the guy's not complying and he's not holding on to him no, and he takes he, a step he, towards he, him. That, that way, it's on her. No. That's, that's, that's. Once again, the officer fabricates the entire incident, as the suspect didn't even show a sign of resistance, let alone attack him. As the dispatch says they'll look into the matter, he even tries to cover up for his lie. It wasn't a crazy bum rush, but I can tell he wanted to f me. So and I was like, dude, he doesn't, he's not picking up on the signs. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's not good. Okay. Right, I'm gonna, THI2 has a rookie for a DUI, right? Yes. All right, thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. So. The behavior exhibited by this corrupt police officer was shocking, and fortunately, the truth was exposed by the body camera. This highlights the deep-rooted problem of aggression in police and how they train rookies to turn out as big tyrants as themselves. And let's see what happens when a cop is held accountable for his crimes. He was under investigation by the ATF for selling narcotics in exchange for firearms. There was a statute of limitations issue. In March 2024, First Amendment auditor Sean Paul Reyes visited the Live Oak Police Department to investigate Officer Zachary Zepeda, who resigned from the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department amidst an investigation following him selling narcotics. One of the biggest thin blue line flags I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of thin blue line flags. 
just their way of separating themselves from we the people. Hi, how are you? I was wondering if I could speak to a supervisor, please. Patrol supervisor? Yes. Okay, your name? My name's Sean. Sean? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Sean? Hey, how are Hi, you, sir? Hey, um, I just I wanted to speak with you regarding uh, one of your officers here, uh, Officer Zachary Zepeda. Okay, you want to talk over here? Yeah, no, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't okay. matter. Wherever you want to talk. But I'm here specifically at Live Oak PD to uh, speak to you about Zachary Zepeda. I okay. believe he's a recent um, hire here at the uh, police department. After resigning from the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, Officer Zachary had joined the Live Oak Police Department. Surprisingly, the sergeant was unaware of the controversy surrounding him. I've been, during my investigation, I found some inside sources at the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, as well as some f former, um, former law enforcement officers from there who have told me some concerning things about um, Officer Cepeda, that uh, he was uh, falling asleep on duty. I'm not sure what type of background check um, this police department here uh, conducts okay. uh, when hiring, but I, I was told that at the previous department, he was uh, caught falling asleep on duty regularly, smelling of alcohol, um, narcotics was actually found on him at one point, and um, I, I don't know how long, I don't know how well you know uh, Officer Cepeda or his tenure here, but his tenure at the um, Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department lasted under seven months. Well, the sergeant did calmly listen to Sean as he explained the reason of his abrupt resignation. Abruptly resigned, didn't put in a two weeks notice or anything like that. He abruptly resigned, I'm t abruptly, excuse me, resigned. And I'm told that he did this because he had, he, he before he became a law enforcement officer, he had lied under his application and never disclosed the fact that he was under investigation by the ATF. He was under investigation by the ATF for selling narcotics in exchange for firearms. There was a statute of limitations issue, and the case was and the case was dropped. The investigation was was dropped. But he was under investigation, and he lied about that fact. And when that came to light at the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, and they were about to investigate, so when they went to go investigate this matter, a detective, Elsie Serald, went to go investigate the matter. He abruptly resigned, uh, never put in his two weeks notice. And normally that would warrant a dishonorable discharge. Um, that's what I'm told from my sources. But apparently he, he wasn't given a dishonorable discharge. I, I, I doubt he was because he, I was told he wasn't. I doubt he was because you now he works for this department um, and he had no problem getting the job here. Well, apparently the police corruption wasn't limited to Officer Zachary as the police chief Tim Mooring was also implicated in the issue. But I was told that he didn't get the dishonorable discharge from Chief Tim Mooring because he participated in the investigation. He, he, he was a witness and uh, testified on the, pol on the police chief's behalf against three whistleblowers. So three whistleblowers from Fair Oaks Ranch came out against police chief Tim Mooring for his, this is why I'm here in the first place, I'm investigating uh, chief Tim uh, Mooring about these uh, allegations of corruption. And um, if true, I don't think Officer Cepeda should be, Zachary Cepeda should have a job in law enforcement. Uh, obviously being under investigation by the ATF. I have an open records request, FOIA request with the ATF to confirm that investigation. But I'm sure you're, that's why I'm, I'm speaking with you, sir, because I'm sure you guys can, even though I'm, I'm always gonna conduct an investigation, I'm sure you guys yeah, can absolutely. do it a lot quicker and you guys can, obviously you're gonna wanna confirm everything I'm telling you. So okay. even if I brought you proof, I'm sure you'd wanna do your own type of investigation. So um, I just wanted to bring it to this police department's uh, attention because I'm going to be releasing a series of, uh, of videos and. Uh, as part of this investigation into Fair Oaks Ranch, and he was just a connection that while I was here, I'm not from Texas, but while I was here, I wanted to touch base with this department to make to put you guys on notice about the, uh, these serious allegations against Officer Cepeda. According to Sean, there were several ongoing issues with the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, and the situation had escalated to critical levels. I personally don't know anything about his background, I uh, because I didn't do his background. Um, right. I, I just know he came from Fair Oaks Ranch Police right. Department, whatever happened over there. I honestly have a lot of things are advice. going over there and blowing the whistle against this unlawful behavior. Police Chief Tim Mooring has been accused of pointing guns at people, uh, participating in narcotics parties with people, like all types of craziness. And, and the fact that this officer was used, Officer Zachary Zapetta was used as sort of like a, a, a witness, like, hey, look, these officers are lying because he says so, but yet he lied about his you know, uh, the investigation that was into him by the ATF. 
He's, uh, he resigned as soon as they found out about it. As Sean wanted to do an open record request for some documentation, the sergeant came up with a new story delaying the process. I'm not sure if Lieutenant Burrell is here. He's our uh, patrol lieutenant. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if he's in the office right now. Right. Um, we can, I can escort you over here to the open records and let me find out if he's here. Okay. And if he'd want to see if he's able to come up to the front, if he'd right. give me a call later on today. Okay, okay. that's fine, yeah. Okay. Yep. Right now, it is up to you. Do you want to wait a little while? I'm not sure how long I'm going to take him or do you want me to relay your information to him? Right, that's fine. You can relay. Sure. If he has, you have my number if he yeah. needs. Right. And if he needs to call me, I'm, I'll pick up the phone and we can speak on the phone. That's not a problem. That's my number. He can call okay. me. That's not Absolutely. a problem. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate your time today, okay? Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw cases where power-hungry police officers were caught for taking things too far. It's disheartening to see how some officers with firearms believe they can violate people's rights and act without accountability. We hope these tyrants face consequences and are permanently removed from the force. If you liked today's video, please consider showing your support by liking this video and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.